Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover a unit build and approval process from the module approved records with approval processes. Now, as part of this unit's challenge, we will be creating an approval process to ensure that prospect accounts with more than 500 employees are approved before they are converted to customers. Now, before we begin with our challenge or implementation, we have to go to our object manager on account object. We have to check that these three values are there on our type picklist field. So let's quickly launch your trailhead playground and go to setup account. Here, search for type field. And here we are going to check. Now here we have prospect, customer and pending. These two values should also be there. So since these two values are not there, we are going to copy these two customer and pending. Copy this. Let's go back here. Create a new pick list value by clicking on that new button. Here we are going to paste those values, but make sure uh, this comma and and is removed. Press enter after customer and it has to be pending. Click on save. Now these two values are there. Additionally, prospect was already there. So all the three values that's mentioned in our challenge, we have added in our type picklist field value. Next is we have to create an approval process. So our approval process will be on account object. So let's quickly go to our home setup. Here, search for approval. Select approval processes. Here we are going to select the account object, manage approval process for account. Now, once you click on create new approval process, it gives you two options. Use jumpstart wizard and use standard start setup wizard. So we are going to use use jumpstart wizard. So let's just select this option. Now here, we are going to name our approval process approve new account. So let's just copy this. Unique name will be auto populated. Approval assignment email template. You can select any email template that's not being checked in our challenge. So I'm going to select sales new customer email here. You can select any email template. Then entry criteria, we have to make sure that type is equal to prospect and employees is greater than 500. Now, as I have already mentioned in the beginning of this video as well, that we are going to send only those account records for approval where the type of the account is prospect and we have employees more than 500. So the same criteria we are going to add up here in our approval process as well. So let's just go back here. And for the field, I'm going to select account type. So scroll down and here you will find account type. Select this equals Click on this magnifying glass and search for prospect. Select this, click on insert. Another criteria that we have to add is count employees. So I'll go to alphabet E, here it is. Greater than 500. So these were the two criteria that will decide whether our account record should be sent for approval or not. Now approval will be automatically assigned to approvers. So here we are going to assign ourselves or the or your own user. So let's just select this automatically assigned to approver. Now there are three options uh, under select approval. Submitter choose the approver manually. In this case, the person who is submitting the record for approval can decide who is going to be the approver. Then second option is based on the standard or custom hierarchy field. So whatever value the person selects here at the time of approval process creation, that approval will be automatically, that record will be automatically assigned to this approval hierarchy that one person will mention here in this 
option. Then the last option is automatically assigned to approvers. In this case, we are going to select a user here, which will automatically, which will make the records automatically assigned to that particular user for approval. Here we have user as well in the option, as well as related user here, but in our case, or as part of this unit challenge, we are going to keep it user. And here we are going to select our user by which we have logged in. Right now, mine is trailhead explanation. So I'll be selecting this one. You have to select your own user. That's all, just click on save. This is just a warning that you have to make sure uh, this approval process is activated, then only it will work. Just click on OK. Click on view approval process details where we are going to add other steps as well. Now here, here we are going to add initial submission action. What will happen initially when a record is sent for approval. So let's just go back here. We are going to create initial submission action that updates field. So let's just copy this name from the challenge. Account type to pending, uh, though it's not being checked at the time of checking the challenge, but still we are going to take this name only. Let's just go back. Click on new. Select field update. Here, here we are going to set the field type, account type field to pending. So as soon as you set, send the record for approval, the first or the initial action that will take place will make the record type field updated to pending value. So here we have this option, specify a new field value under which we are going to add a specific value where we are saying that it should be set to pending. Just click on save. Now the next is we are going to add final approval action that will again update field. And here we are going to name it as account type to customer. This also won't be checked at the time of checking the challenge, but we are going to make sure that we are taking the same name. Now here we are going to update the type field again to customer. So let's just go back here. Final approval action. Now under this, whichever action that we are going to add, that will happen once our record has been finally approved. So here in our case, we are going to make a field update. We're going to label it as account type to customer. And again, we are going to update account type field. Click on next. Now here this time we are going to specify value with the customer. So if our record has been approved, the type field will be set to customer. Click on save. Now here we have existing final approval action by the name record log. We have to edit this. And we are going to select this unlock the record for editing. So this will make the record editable once it has been approved. Click on save. Now, finally, we are going to add final rejection action that will again update the field. So if our record has been rejected, then that time this action will be performed where our type field value will be set to prospect again. So let's just copy this label again from here. Scroll down this action that we are going to add over here by using the field update that will perform. So here, let's just label it type uh, account type to prospect and field update. Again, we are going to update the type field to prospect again. Click on save. So this is our basic approval process that we have created. So here what's happening, once the entry criteria is fulfilled, it will perform the initial submission action. 
where it will update the type field on account object to pending. And this at this point, the record will be logged. You cannot edit it. Once it has been approved by the approver, then in that case, it will proceed with final approval actions where we are updating type field again to customer. Then uh, at that point, the record will be unlocked for the user to edit it. So a user can edit the record at that point once our record has been finally approved. If at all our record has been rejected by the approver, in that case, this action will be performed here. Field update will take place where the type value will be changed to prospect. And that's all we have to do. Just the only thing left for us is to make our approval process activated. So let's just activate this approval process. Go back here and click on check challenge. There you go, this unit as well as this module is completed. Hope I was able to convey the concept of approval process and you were able to understand. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.